Well guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Fat Uncle Nick. Today we'll be playing uh, American Truck Simulator. This is gameplay video part one. Uh, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, uh, we are restarting. Um, we have to select a city to start in. So, um, I have tons and tons of experience with this game. Um, over 900 hours, almost a thousand hours. So, I really don't know where to start because I have a uh, profile that has everything unlocked, so trying to think where I want to start. Um, the newest DLC is Wyoming. Could start there. I live right here in this town in real life. So I think we'll probably do Idaho just for fun. Just because I live there in real life and we will uh, Cover the different cities in Idaho and go to each city, run some loads, cover the roads, and then head off to a different state. I think we'll do that, so let's base ourselves in Boise. Alright. And we don't need the tutorial. Alright, so. This is the big town of Boise, which isn't really that big in real life. Uh, around 1.2 million, I think. So it's not really that big. And I'm not sure what the video is going to do here. Just keep watching. Okay, so this goes back and forth. Alright, let's push enter. I'll continue here. So. You don't need to read all this, it's pretty straightforward, just taking office supplies to a Walbert. Which a Walbert um, in real life is a Walmart, if you didn't know that. If you're not from the United States, you don't know what a Walmart is, it's a big department store. Um, they have lots of um, different kinds of goods, uh, not very expensive goods, they're rather cheap. Uh, poorly made, so don't necessarily recommend Walmart, but it's a big chain in the U.S. So we'll see how uh, this is set up. It looks like it has all my controls already set up for my steering wheel. Let's check here. That's the blinker. Yeah, we're good there. Wipe wipers. All right. It looks like it has all my settings. So cool. Like we can, oh, actually. Uh, now, we're not going to adjust anything on this truck because we're just doing a really short run here. Just the initial one. This is my dream truck. Um, uh, let's see. I actually do need to change the, uh, the little thing on the bottom right over there. Um, let me do that real quick. So that's on the keyboard. All right, there we go. Now we can see through it. F3 does that. So, anyways, um, I think we'll probably leave it on that one so we can see the map. Or actually, I don't know. Let's put it on this one. I will actually have a cell phone when I get my own truck in the game. But yeah, this is my dream truck in the game. Uh, the truck that, of my choice. Uh, it's the Freightliner Cascadia 2022. Has an awesome dashboard there, as you can see. Has some cool layouts. Um, not sure which one we want to use. Not real familiar with it. I've never actually driven it in the game very much. I just know it came out not too long ago and I bought it and I never really drove it. So I think we'll leave it on that one. Alright, so we got one gear there. I am driving with a G29 steering wheel, um, okay, so it's a 12 speed. Alright, um, I think we can start out in third, probably. Let's 
So I'll have to adjust some settings on here. Looks like it's really stiff on turning, which is realistic, but I like to have it a little looser. So we'll adjust that eventually. I'll probably do it off of the uh, control button. Okay, so one of my buttons is missing here. I turning my head button. I can't turn. I was going to say I'm going to change my settings off screen, but or like off video, but I think I will change them right now. Okay, that button's the same. So the one I'm missing here is turning my head, and it's really stiff. Alright, so I just got done reconfiguring all of my uh, settings, so let's get started here. Um, I don't know which mode to put it on. I like that one, personally, but it's kind of in the way of the map. Um, let's just put it on that, for example, it doesn't matter. Alright, so um, let's put it back in third. Blinker going on here, so we should be able to look left and right now. Oh wow! Huh. So look left and right looks different than what I normally have set up. It's kind of neat though, actually. Yeah, that's actually really neat. I didn't know I had that option. All right, let's go. Check out the stop sign there. Actually like this setting here. And that's really neat. You know, I had that option. Huh. Alright, kind of a maze there. I don't know why I never saw that before. Play 900 hours and I didn't realize you have a view option where you can just push one button and look left and right without turning manually, if you know what I'm saying. So we got a light, so we don't have to look on this one. Let's see if we go now. Yep, alright, here we go. Speed limit is oh, there, on the map. Alright, 45. So I don't know how far we're going. We're going across the town somewhere. Go to Walbert. So, in this uh, video, we're going to do this first little job here. And then we will. Uh, do the second job. Don't know where that's going to take us yet. Um, we are playing on realistic economy, which makes for some really grinding uh, gameplay. We make realistic money. So we'll probably only make like a hundred bucks on this or less. Probably less actually. So, 
just going to grind and have fun driving around. We'll mainly these videos will mainly just be uh, we stay in this with this mod. We will just be uh, driving. So we're just going to see the sights, and drive around. I don't know if we'll ever get our own truck unless we get a loan because the economy is so hard and difficult. It would take us tons of jobs to build up to $100,000 to get a new truck. I ground my gears there, I apologize. Here's the Walbert, I can see it coming up. I don't think I'm going to shift. Easy parking. Pull straight in. It's on random parking, the other seven I chose. So we can just uh, relax, take it easy. There it is, yep, alright. Alright, so like I said, yeah, very, very low money, only 400 bucks. Alright, continue. 22 experience, very low experience as well. That's supposed to be realistic. Alright, here's our first headquarters. Maybe our only headquarters, depending on how much we play this game because of the economy. Got it very difficult, so. Alright, um, let's go to job market here. Let's pick our first job, and that'll, that'll, as we get that finished, we'll conclude the video for today. So, let's see, Boise. So, here's price. So, the best, okay, look, it doesn't look like the. You know what? I may not have the mod on, because this is not realistic economy. Let me go back and change that and I'll actually show you what kind of mods I do have. I guess since we restarted our profile I didn't um, save. Yeah, we didn't put the mods on. <laughs> Alright, well we made some extra money in the beginning. So I got a uh, engine uh, uh, mod so it'll allow us to have better engines eventually. Um, let's do traffic next. Okay, improved traffic makes it fun. We'll have to sort these out in opposite order, so I didn't realize that. So let's put this one next. That should be at the bottom. And then this one uh, next should be above that. I feel it should be above this one. There we go. And then no traffic. I do that occasionally, but we're not going to do that. Alright, so let's put this at the top. This one next. Let's put this one down one. And do it like that. So there's my five mods. Food traffic, realistic headlighting, realistic economy, hard mode, uh, self-repairing truck, and the bigger engines and transmissions. Alright, so let's continue the game. Now we'll notice our prices are a lot less. So let's go here to the job market. And quick job. So yeah, only 300 bucks. So that's a lot more realistic. All right. So um, the most expensive one is 300 bucks. We're going from uh, here to here. We will get Pocatello if we drive through Pocatello. We'll probably mark that on the map. If we uh, do do this one, let's see what else we got here. Going to Elko. We don't want to leave. Idaho he doesn't want to stay in Idaho, so it looks like they're all going to Idaho Falls. Here's one going up to Grangeville. Yeah, actually, let's go to Grangeville because that we don't have to have any cities in between, so it'll just be a straight shot. I like that one. All right, only 183 bucks, so let's take it. 
like I said, we're just going to drive for the fun of it. We're just going to watch the sights and look at the different viewpoints and have fun. So, all right, what kind of truck are we driving here? Let's check. Uh, so we got a triple. Um, I guess I can't rotate my camera. That's the only thing I can't do. I wanted to change that, but that's all right. So it looks like we're driving a, there it is. It's a international um, Lone Star with a triple pup. Configure trailer configuration, box trailers. So that's cool. All right. Um, let's push F4 here to uh, adjust our seat and everything so we can see our mirrors at least. We want mirrors. I did that wrong. I was talking mirrors and push down a button. All right, let's back it up here. And let's back it up again. We're on 400 scaling on 1080p, so we should be able to see the dashboard still just fine. Now we bring that down there. What else should we do? Uh, I like it the way it is, actually. Yeah, I can see out that mirror, see that little mirror. Look good. Alright, turn on the lights in case we have to drive at night, which I think we do. So anyways, alright, there we go. Alright, let's uh, crank it up here. Uh huh. It's on, I can't even hear it. That's really interesting. I hope I can hear it when I take off here. Yeah, I hear it now. You can't hear when it's idling. That's kind of weird. Oh, we didn't check how many gears we have. Let's try that real quick. So, we're in second there. Six. Uh, looks like 18. This is an 18 speed, so we'll probably start out in 6. After the green. So there's Boise State University. Uh, I think it's actually Boise State. The uh, football field ahead of us there. Called the Broncos in our life. If we're in Boise, I think we are. I played this game in probably two or three months. So, wish me luck. 
look here. Try to drive responsibly. find here. Well I think we can make a turn like this. about this. Keep putting the wrong gears. We'll get back in the groove here and figure out how to drive. I just really need to start thinking. I'm not thinking that clearly right now. It's getting to be night time, close to my real life bedtime, so I'm kind of getting tired. I'm up to speed limit is uh, 35. All right. So let's see if we can set the cruise here. I don't know what horsepower engine we got. I didn't even think to look. We got the job. Fifty-five. Now it's thirty-five. Whoa! Please pull into way station. All right. Let's do that. Wait here, real quick. All right. Uh, enter button. One hundred five thousand. Very heavy. Uh, the actual normal limit in the United States is 83,000 pounds, which is not a normal trailer configuration, I guess. So it has an exception. 
Oh well, shoot, we got to switch gears here. I should get it right that time though. around here. I'm not 240 yet, so I'm headed north uh, in Idaho here if you're just coming into the, the video. Coming up out of the high desert and going into the mountainous region. Said we're coming up into the trees, which is the mountainous region of Idaho. Uh, the further north you go, the more trees you get. We'll never hit that. This game and Euro Truck Simulator 2 are about the only ones I use the steering wheel for. They also play with the uh, PS5 controller. I'm not the most talented with the steering wheel. This game just slow enough pace where I can use it. And same with uh, uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. So if I play any racing games or any other driving games besides Euro Truck Simulator 2 or this game, we will using uh, gamepad. Um, we got a viewpoint right up here on the right. Let's view it. This is the 
city of McCall, or the town of McCall, I should probably say. Pretty small. Let's just do point out. Right over here. So let's do this. McCall welcomes you. The town of McCall. Big time tourist destination. Steaks and Spirits Restaurant. I don't know what that restaurant's called in real life. Probably pretty popular. Has a hotel right on the uh, waterfront here. Big Lake of... Uh, it could be Lake of McCall, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure what the lake's called. A bunch of little uh, small shops and businesses here. Uh, this is look like an old western town. Manchester Ice and Event Center. So probably an ice rink in there, I imagine, skating. And I can't tell what that says on the sign. Not sure what river that was. Alright. So let's get out of here. Six miles to go to Grangeville. I think this is the only one of the only ways to get to Grangeville, especially from Boise, the only way to get there. So, in real life. sure what this sign says. If we come back this way, then we'll check out that sign and see what the river's called. Wrong button there, I apologize. Still learning my controls, looks like. Alright, so nobody's ahead of us now, I don't think. So we should be able to go a little bit faster than what we were before wreck this thing. I don't think we will. Oh, it's going down again. Not sure what this town's called. Um, no stop sign. <laughs> that? Oh, we're turning right. Alright. No, it's not either. Wrong gear. There we go. Nothing that way. And this Pay to look that way, it doesn't even matter. Let's see if we'll put them in the right gear here. Yep, pretty good. 25. Alright. Rangeville, 77 miles. Either an hour and 35 minutes if we can do the speed limit. It's game time, of course. So 35 around this corner. I don't know how fast we're going. 55. So 
says 65. Like I said, I don't think we'll ever hit that speed. Try it though. On this corner, we should be able to easily take this at 65. I'm only doing 64, but almost 65. 45 on this corner. We can take it. Let's slow down for this one a little bit. Cruise back on here. I didn't check how many miles, but it looks like about 50 miles. We can do the readout on the right there. like we're back up into high desert again. More canyons and mountains. Not sure why that is. Never been up here to Grangeville. I lived in Idaho for about two years now. So we're still down for this corner. A little bit. off point there. Let's stop. Our bottom engine. Let's change gears here. A little bit too high up there. Got a uh, state patrol officer or somebody pulled over up here. That's about. Town of Grangeville. I don't know how big it is in real life, but it's probably not that big. Here's the actual population. It says, uh, I didn't read it, sorry. It had a little sign there. So 35 is the speed limit. Where are we headed? Turn right. Alright. Change my gears here. Thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, leaving comments, and hitting the bell. Uh, feel free to leave a comment about uh, what you want to see in the upcoming videos, or uh, if you have some constructive criticism, leave a comment about that. Leave a comment about whatever you want, really. I'd like to chat with you. Um, we'll conclude this video after the uh, reward screen. If you haven't hit the like button yet, don't forget to hit it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Better switch gears here. Uh, 14. No, switch. Oh, it's wrong button. Wrong button, guys. Sorry. Anyways, um, I think I said that already. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. So.
So we'll finish this video up here in just a second. Make sure we get parked. Since we have a triple pup, we won't be backing anything in today. So I don't know where we're going here. What is this place called? Uh, Settle Goods. So I think this is supposed to be like a UPS. Uh, United, United Parcel Service. Um, in real life. Let's turn just a minute. Oh, I sold it too soon. There it is. All right. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, distance driven was 190 miles. Took 5 hours and 17 minutes of game time, 44.5 uh, gallons of fuel. Base reward for those 190 miles was $183. Experience was 191 experience. Trailer maneuvering bonus was 25. Uh, 183 there and 216 total. We made it just into level 1, newbie, so I think we might have another screen here. Here we go. So we'll do. Uh, hmm, I don't know what the best one is. So we do high value. All right. So that allows us to make a little extra cash next time we play. And we got actually some uh, an email here. Let's check this out real quick. Before we finish up. So we need money. We can help. Uh, the bank has some money for us. Brand new, brand new Freightliner trucks available in St. George. Alright. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.